morning, uh, Sarlos wine enthusiasts. Here we are, April the 9th, uh, 2012. Uh, and I want to bring you back into the vineyard again. As you might remember, we talked about uh, our cover crop last time. And you can see it's growing up. There might even be some oats developing in here. Time to mow and get the floor of the vineyard back in shape. Some exciting things have happened in the last couple of weeks. Uh, as you can see in front of me, we have what we call bud break. For us, bud break is not a guy's first and last name. It has nothing to do with getting away from your friend, but in this case, it has everything to do with uh, the buds that are starting to come out of our vines. Last uh, time we got together, we talked about our vines at rest. They were dormant. Right now, the temperature in the soil and uh, upstairs in the sky has got to a certain point and a, a number of hours of sunlight has made these vines wake up and they're pushing like crazy. Sap is coming up and the green is popping out of these buds. We talked about two bud pruning and you'll see a little later with Keith a close up, you'll see a good example of one bud and two buds coming up. They're gonna come up here and each one will have a cluster of grapes. Last time we talked with you till today, you look in the background a little bit, you'll see a tube Say, what's that all about? Well, what we had to do is go through and replace some of the vines that the rodents damaged. Maybe we uh, planted it poorly. Uh, maybe there was a rock, something in the soil that made that plant die. And as you can see, uh, we now have it uh, fresh, like a bare root rose is how we planted it. It's in that tube to be protected uh, from uh, the rodents, uh, rabbits, and also protected from the sun. They're coddling it in there to make certain it grows. You see that black uh, spaghetti line. So we're, we're dosing the water right on top of that plant. The last three nights has been kind of a difficult time for us because uh, when these buds come up, they're about 95% water. And it's freezing here in the San Inez Valley. The last three nights we had to, to get up and uh, turn on the overhead irrigation. And Keith will show you in the background some of the sprinklers that are now turned off. What we wind up doing to protect this and protect our crop for next year is we put uh, 40 to 45 degree water in the air and that takes that 32 degree air and pushes it downstream, downhill, seek the lowest level. When we do that, we protect this so it doesn't freeze. If this would freeze, uh, it would droop down and we'd have to get a secondary shoot which would be two or three weeks later. Sometimes it gets so cold that this will cocoon in ice uh, and it'll actually be warmer inside of that ice cocoon that will be on the outside. Cross your fingers, we've done really good so far. We've got rain coming up in the forecast. We've got clouds that will be coming in so as farmers we know that that heat will stay right here in the, uh, on the ground and it'll be warmer. This Friday it's supposed to get down to the mid-20s so we're filling the reservoir right now with well water to make certain that we have enough water in our reservoir to do overhead. We'll be back with you next time uh, in a couple of uh, weeks to show you what we do with our wires to, to uh, bring up uh, and place the uh, vertical shoot position in place. One last thought, get your order in for Sarlos wine. You got holidays coming up, birthdays, anniversaries, time to uh, celebrate. Thanks a lot for watching the video guys. Bye now. <laughs> Thanks Dad.